Hey everybody, Lemony Vengeance here, and today I want to get uh, up close and personal with uh, something that I have an opportunity to uh, work with for the past couple of months. Uh, and uh, this is the uh, Project Board Jamma, or the PB Jamma by Folks Attack. Uh, like I said, I've had an opportunity to work with the, this for the past couple of months as a prototype. Focus Attack approached me and uh, asked me what was uh, missing in the home arcade scene. And recently, um, uh, another retailer uh, unfortunately went out of business and uh, carried uh, project boards similar to this. And so I let them know, hey, these are kind of just a basic little thing that uh, is currently missing in the arcade community uh, that is used by a lot of different people, including myself. Uh, so they put something together and have sent me uh, several prototypes and uh, I've given them pointers on the, the design process and the things that are uh, needed. So you'll notice that it does look similar to other things, uh, other project boards that are out there um, but this one has a quite a few changes. Uh, most notably, the JAMA edge is actually long enough to reach those uh, deeper JAMA edge connectors. For example, the ones that are in the Egret 2. Uh, a Thomas Wave sit down, the Egret 3, as well as a bunch of American cabinets, the big black ones. So this one will go all the way to the back of those so you don't have to worry about shaving off the ends of the uh, the adapter board itself. Uh, you'll notice that it does have uh, a series of through hole headers along the top uh, as well as labels for them. Uh, you'll notice that there's a series of, of headers over here as well that are labeled. Uh, so you have uh, 5 volts in ground, 12 volts in ground, speaker plus minus, RGB sync and ground as well as a Capcom CPS-1 harness connector. Uh, these, this header is connected to uh, these two 20-pin uh, fighting game community standard headers. So if you have some PS360 pluses that you want to connect to uh, this board, or even uh, some Brook adapters that you want to connect to this board, it's uh, pretty much plug and play. Um, this is wired with all of the pins except for 5 volts, which jump to both JP6 and JP5. There's really no need to take 5 volts coming from the console and 5 volts coming from the JAMA edge and uh, link them up. So they, they terminate here. Um, you'll also notice that there are a couple of solder pads here. Um, this particular solder pad uh, maps the back or select buttons to test and service. If you want to have like an external button or something to that effect, you can connect it to these these pads over here on the left. Or if you want them to go to the edge, you can just link both of these pads. Um, these pad uh, these solder pads here are to link the fourth punch button from here to the edge. It's completely optional, uh, and you can see that they're both right there as well. Also right here is a uh, home slash guide header so if you want to map the home and guide buttons to something else for example if you want to map them to coin for both players uh, you can go ahead and do that as well. Uh, one thing that I really like about this is it's a lot smaller profile than other edge adapters out there um, so it doesn't take up a lot of space it also has four uh, uh, for mounting holes on the sides as well so if you want to mount this flat on a board or if you want to mount it inside a project box or something you can go ahead and do that as well um and I believe that is that is pretty much it like I said I've had an opportunity to use uh, variations of this this is the the final revision of the prototype the the uh, ones that I believe focus the uh, believe focus attack are releasing are different colors than this of course this is your osh park standard purple um but i think the ones they're releasing are like a like a yellow slash orange color um so um yeah 
Uh, I had an opportunity, like I said, to, to use this and uh, have, have found it to be very helpful um, in the things that I wire up. So uh, I'm sure they're going to be putting it up for sale uh, very soon. Um, I'm sure that by the time this video goes up, there will be a link in the description uh, to, to get a hold of these. I'm not sure exactly what the price point is on this, but I can imagine it's comparable to other uh, Jamma Edge solutions out there. So uh, that's pretty much all I have for you. Um, keep your eyes peeled for this. Uh, and uh, if, you like, uh, if you like my videos, go ahead and click subscribe, or you can hit me up on uh, Facebook facebook.com forward slash limited vengeance or twitter or instagram at lemony vengeance all one word so thank you very much everyone happy gaming